love about you? It's your boy. I'm a pro. Tell I make my walking go. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Forza Motorsport 6 video. It's your boy Vortex Chaos and today we're on the Nürburgring GP circuit doing a... I think it's called an all-star track thing. I don't know what it's called. Um, but pretty much whole basis of it. One track, everyone in the lobby is in the same car. Can't tune it, can't upgrade it, can't do anything to it. I mean obviously you've designed, yeah, but like nothing else. Um, haven't tried this out yet. I mean, I have done the league races, but those are different compared to this because those are actual proper ones and you get points and all this from it. This is just racing, just normal, but with the same cars. Uh, hopefully, it goes well. Uh, we're in the BMW M3 GT2 or GT3, one or the other. Uh, the E92 model, so I mean, it's not bad. Uh, I haven't driven it much, honestly, in this game, so I'm interested to see how it goes. Uh, besides that, let's just get into this. Oh, here we go. Uh, looks like we're starting second last row. That's a laggy BMW. Haven't driven this car much. I'm, gonna go for a, oh, I'm not going to go for a big dive up the inside. That's a dumb idea. You can clearly see why. I'm just going to do that and try and get away from these guys. Stuck on the outside here. I just hit him off. I'm sorry. I'm not going to overtake them, that's just not right. Uh, most people in this lobby are very low level, okay. Uh, I'm not going to say anything, just going to go with it. I'm not really too sure who hit me, so even if I wanted to get payback, oops, fucking lag. I'm not even trying to hit him, just going very slow, I'm going to hit him, unlucky. Um, pretty much, 14th place at the moment, got 4 laps to do something about that. Interesting to see how this goes, jeez. <laughs> that was not a very good start to a race that should have been good, but whatever, I'm not going to complain too much about it. So, let's see where we end up at the end of this. Very hopefully I don't end up in the dirt over there. In the late apex, there we go. Uh, now, um, I spoke about in my last video where I had like a subject to talk about but it got way too late into the video to speak about it, so you guys don't have to wait for this video. Now this video, I'm going to talk about the subject at hand. I mean, it's not that serious of a subject, it's got nothing to do with my personal life at all. Uh, that guy just doesn't care. Um, okay. Not really too sure what he was trying to do, but gonna go with it. I've gained four places in the space of two corners. Three, four corners, something like that. Um, so pretty much, uh, as you guys can probably hear by my voice, I am sick. Um, now normally when I'm sick, I'm not like most other people. Um, I pretty much refuse to have any type of medicine. Because, well, not you guys probably know or don't know this, but once you like start using a lot of medicine, you start getting like... You start getting headaches when you don't have medicine, like your body gets used to having medicine there as a help in all this. Uh, me, I don't want that to happen. So I just said, you know what, sod it, if I'm sick, I'm sick, I'll let it go away naturally. I am not going to use any medication. And I mean, it works, honestly, for me at least. My immune system, it works pretty well. Um, most of the time, I don't really need medication. I don't need Panadol, Nurofen, anything really. I get past this guy because he's all over the place. So, I mean, realistically, that's just me. Um, other people, like my sister, sadly, she can't do that because... I don't know, that, that's just her. She can't, like, go without medicine. Like, when she's sick, she has to have medicine. It's because she doesn't have a tonsil or something. Not really too sure. But, yeah, so she has to use a lot of... I mean, I guess it's the same as coffee. It's the same reason I don't drink coffee. One, because it's bitter as shit. I have tried it before, once, only once. And I won't ever again. Literally took one sip and just immediately just got rid of it. Like, I hated it. Bitter as all shit, and caffeine, not the greatest for you. Obviously. I mean, yeah, sure, probably once or twice, but... 
It gets really bad once you have it on a daily, and then when you don't have it, you start getting headaches. That's when you know you're pretty much addicted to coffee. And or caffeine, whatever you want to say it. Um, so I guess medicine kind of works the same way, same principle really. Uh, so I never have coffee, I never have medicine when I'm sick. Normally, uh, what works best for me at least, oh I'm taking this corner way wrong. Uh, normally what works well for me is if I just go out like and eat. Just like not like go out and eat, but I mean like go out a lot, have some fresh air and all this, and eat. Uh, Cause when you're sick, Obviously you don't feel like eating anything, ever, and we all know that's bad for you when you don't eat, obviously. It's bad if you don't eat. So normally what I try and do is try and just stick to what I normally eat on a daily basis. Uh, if not, I try and eat more than what I normally do, because when you're sick you kind of need that extra. And then fresh air, it's obvious, when you're sick you need fresh air. Uh, you can't just be stuck at home all day, because that's... Though it might help a little, it's not going to help as much if... Like, it's going to help more if you just go out, have some fresh air, and that kind of stuff, you know? It's just better for you. Uh, that's, those are just two methods that I've found, at least, that work for me. Uh, you guys are most likely very different to me. Um, but also, I haven't met anyone that kind of does the same shit as me, sadly. Uh, but yeah, pretty much when it comes to medicine, I don't use any whatsoever. I mean, unless it's serious, like... Yeah, like unless it's extremely serious, then yeah, sure, I will have medicine. But if it's like a small cold or something like that, I refuse to have any type of medicine whatsoever. Um, like even if I have a, I have a headache, I normally just drink a lot of water and go out and get some fresh air. Normally that helps a lot. But yeah, never use medicine. That's just me. I mean, obviously medicine isn't bad for you. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not bad for you. It's just bad if you start getting a headache when you don't have medicine on a daily basis, if that makes sense. Like, if you're used to having medicine, what are you doing, exactly? Why? Why would you- why? Just- just why? Why? What- what gave you the reason to do that, exactly? Jesus Christ, some of these people in the lobby are just retarded. Anyway, it's not gonna let that bother, bother me too much. He cost his own- he lost two positions, I only lost none. So I'm not really too fast, whatever. What happens, happens, sure. Uh, so yeah, never really, I never use medicine. Personally, that's just me. I think I've just repeated the same thing over and over again, but whatever. Um, not really much else to say, I just don't like using medicine. Uh, when it comes to coffee, that's a different story. That's just because coffee's way too bitter for me, and I don't really, I'm not really fond of it. Like, I don't really want to have any. I guess that kind of, that's the same as any type of alcohol, that kind of shit. Like, I'm just not interested in having any of it. Um, for those who know me, know that I'm an extremely stubborn human being. So, when I've set up my mind on something, more or less, it probably, my mind won't change. Not even if you, like, try and get it to change. Like, even if you try to, what is it, persuade me to do something, I won't do it. I don't fall under pressure, that's not really me. I mean, obviously when it's something small, I might, but if it's something like, oh here, take a shot of alcohol, oh here, take a blunt or some shit like that, I, no. Honestly, not for me, um, that's usually just me though, I mean, there, yeah, when it comes to alcohol and drugs and that kind of shit, a lot of people are like me and say, no, I want none, don't bring me anywhere near it. Uh, so, yeah, I guess that's, that's normal. Uh, coffee, sadly, I do have a friend, I'm not gonna name him, he knows who he is. Uh, once in Matt's, he was getting a headache. Uh, and then he said, oh, I need coffee. I need my caffeine, I don't have my caffeine. And then, well, I, I yelled at him. Like I normally do, I give him a lot of shit, he gives me a lot of shit. That doesn't sound very right, but yeah, that's just how it is. Uh, that's in Matt's. Uh, don't worry, we do actually do the work, somehow. Out of all the time that we muck around a lot, we do find the time to actually do the work that the teacher sets. So that's good, obviously. Uh, it's always good to do your work. Uh, never not to do your work. I just took a big dive up the inside on him. I am very sorry. And then he just hit me. Well, deserve that. I took a stupid dive up the inside. Not gonna really say much to that. Eighth place, I'm happy with it. Not really too fast, honestly. Uh, this was more of a video for you guys just to listen to me. This is just gameplay on the background. 
Uh, I probably would have been able to run two sec or two minute laps, but obviously some things held me back from doing that. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's pretty much gonna do it all for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, hit the like button. If you guys didn't like it, hit the dislike button. Subscribe if you are new. Check out the other members of Evol Evolution Squad if you haven't already. Um. I don't know, let me know what you guys think when it comes to like the whole medication and caffeine and all that, like let me know down in the comments like what you guys think of it, like if you can go days without having medication when you're sick or like you can go, like you don't drink any caffeine, um, yeah that's, yeah just let me know what you guys think about that entire area, and yeah that's pretty much all for me and peace out.